All right. So clearly, if anything's beyond Neptune, it's going to be really faint. So how are we actually going to go about finding this thing? Are you going to be using that to find it? <laughs> well, I mean, the fundamental problem, people often think telescopes magnify. That's right. But for astronomy, that's really not what they exactly. do. In fact, it's often something we don't want. In fact, a lot of people always say, you know, what's the magnification of that telescope? But that's not what it's doing. The real problem is we don't get enough light from these things. So right. we don't want to see small things and make them big. We want to see faint things and make them bright. That's right. Now, the trouble with looking with the human eye is that the light has to go through that little black bit in the middle of my eye, so I'm scared of the camera, and that's quite small. That's right. So all these photons of light that land here or here or here are missing it, only the ones that go right through that little black hole in the middle of my eye are being, are being detected. That's right. And that's a very, very small. My eye is not very big. So we use telescopes like this one not to magnify, but to make our eyes bigger. That's right. So if I look at something like this, you can see now the lens here is a lot bigger than my eye. And so now all of the light that would normally be a mist around your nose and the side of your eye is actually now making it into the telescope, allowing you to see more light. What it does, this lens, is it focuses all that light into the much smaller thing here, which is, of course, sized to match my eye. That's right. And so that means I'll be able to see much more by collecting the light that hits all of this, which is several square centimetres of collecting area, rather than just this, which is several square millimetres of collecting area. That's right. And of course, one can have much bigger telescopes than that. Here, that's me in front of the Gemini telescope. Your, your eye's a bit smaller than this one. It's also a little bit bigger than this. <laughs> um, this is the kind of current cutting edge of telescope right. size. And basically, all the light that hits this enormous, in this case, eight metre diame meter diameter mirror, uh, will be brought to a focus and could be looked at. So it's telescopes like, are light buckets, they're collecting exactly. light. And, like, so, and if your eye was this size, you would see most of the same thing because it's all it's allowing is to collect this light. That's right. Of course, if you did have an eye that big, you'd be <laughs> blinded normally. <laughs> this only works at night. That's right. And the next generation of telescopes, like the Giant Magellan Telescope that here at ANU we're helping design, are going to have mirrors you know, 20, 30, 40 metres across. Where in the previous photo... It was 8 metres. And, and that's just one, one of those You can mirrors. see a car down there for that's scale right. to get a sense of the size of these things. Yeah. So this is the basic idea that we, using telescopes, we have collect more light, and that means we can see fainter things. And so by seeing fainter things, then presumably you can see some of those things that are a bit further away. That's right. And that's what William Herschel did to discover the next planet, Uranus. This is a replica of his telescope, which he used in his backyard in uh, the city of Bath in England. Yeah, and this is kind of a, uh, a replica of Galileo's telescope, yeah. right? This is much longer. That's something like eight feet long, I believe. Yes. So it's, it's, a, it's, a scale. it's, it's quite a long telescope. Um, but actually, it turned out even with Galileo's telescope, you could have found Uranus. It it's, it's, it's only a little bit too faint to see with the naked eye. That's right. In fact, we believe that Galileo did see it. He just didn't recognize it for what it was. Exactly. So in terms of brightnesses, there's Uranus, and it's about five and a half to sixth magnitude. Just remember, fifth magnitude is about the limit for the human eye to see, so it's just a little tiny bit too faint for the human eye to see. That's right. It, it's just out of the borderline, especially even in a somewhat brighter area. But it means with a small telescope, you can see Uranus from most of anywhere. Yeah, I need a pair of binoculars would be yes. fine to see this. So it's not actually that hard. And when Herschel discovered it, uh, they then ran it back through records and discovered that many people with small telescopes all the way back to Galileo had actually seen it. They just hadn't recognised what it was. That's right. Um, but this one was moving across the sky and it looked like a disc, so it was definitely a planet. That's right. So that was all pretty exciting. Um, and he discovered this um, and that was great. But are there any more? That's right.